who was the Wyndham Clark that you sort of first met and like take me through the process of getting to LACC and like yeah. closing a major championship on a Sunday? Yeah. Um, Wyndham and I started out, uh, it's kind of unofficial November, but really in January. And he, he's a perfect example of somebody who was so frustrated with his career. And I actually heard, you know, doing my reconnaissance that he was an incredible ball striker. And if he could get better mentally, he, there was no stopping him. Mm. And when I actually said that to him and I said, you know, everybody says you're the best ball striker out here. Oh, that would piss him off. He was <laughs> like, I am so tired of hearing that. So he's a perfect example. It's like, okay, we're going to break these down into little victories. And we just started working religiously once a week, earlier in the week, talking about kind of bigger, deeper stuff, and then setting tournament goals. And then we debrief. And piece by piece, week by week, chipping away at what he wanted for himself and uh, how to get there started to really happen. And the Wells, Wells Fargo, he... I, I mean, I think he'd say it. He had only mental goals for those four rounds. Mm -hmm. And he just felt way freer out there and more playful and the self-belief. And it wasn't technical goals. Sure, he had a swing thought, but it was much more, how do I want to feel at the end of the day? Mm -hmm. And, yeah. There was a quote that he mentioned sort of immediately after about the advice that you gave him on that Sunday, which was to play cocky. Yeah, on uh, Sunday U.S. Open? Yeah, Sunday the U.S. Open. Where where did that come from? Like, why why that message? Um, a lot of our work together has been about that self-belief and but the goal specifically, one of the goals on that Sunday was he was playing with Ricky and, you know, everyone was pulling for Ricky. I mean, 90% of the crowd, and I knew that was going to happen. So one of the things that the goals was to, every time they yelled Ricky, you reminded yourself of your goal to play cocky. So he said he did it hundreds of times because he had many opportunities. I wanted him, it, it wasn't false confidence. We had been working deeply at what was stopping him from feeling that way and how to, how to encourage him and help him to get rid of the darker messages inside. And so when it came to Sunday of the U.S. Open, he really believed he could do it. And if he stayed in his mental lane, he stayed on those goal, those goals. Cocky was also a physical thing, head up, shoulders back. And he 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 teed off Sunday morning and I think he really believed he could win. Yeah. I think he teed off Thursday morning and thought he could win. Yeah. I really like that um you sort of are not afraid to encourage your players to play emotionally. Like a lot of these are emotional sort of it's a, a lot of people would say you know ego bad you know um or you know sort of a double-edged sword um uh you know the, or encourage a more stoic sort of approach like yeah. you know nothing nothing you do today can fluster you whatever but playing cocky is like you know dropping to your knees when you hit a three wood it's just kind of like letting it all yeah. hang out there yeah and that's a much different message than Traditionally, I think. I think that's right. Gets pushed. I think that's right, and once again, it's based on who I'm talking with. Right. You know, it it just depends on what they're sharing earlier. That if what lane we're going to go into that way, but I think that's right. Yeah, and yeah. it's and it's a it's a approach that's like you you know that that message is custom fit for the situation and environment he's going to find right. himself on Sunday. That's right. You know, if he's going out with. I don't know. I hate to do this to somebody, but Brendan Todd, I don't know. It's the first name that came to mind. It's not Ricky. It's not Rory's not in front of him. Yeah. You know, you might have a different that's sort right. of message for the day. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's us us being in close contact. We're working with that. Yeah. We, we're well aware 
who he's paired with, what time, what he did the night before, what he's doing that morning, how his body's doing. It's We're hitting it from all angles, and certainly that, who who's playing ahead of him, who he's paired with is huge.